What's up guys? For today's video I'm going to point all hunt quarters. $500 out of the bank, just picked it up. What I'm looking for is silver quarters and hopefully there will be a big dump. Somebody did not know that they had a bunch of silvers from grandpa or who knows. They take it to the bank not looking at the dates, not knowing there was silver. They put it back in the circulation and that way you can get a dump of silver. That would be a jackpot. But why I got a box of quarters anyways? Because I like to refill my buckets with quarters. At least halfway. So that way whenever I spend vending machine, you know, parking lots and stuff like that, I always grab it out of the pocket, put it in my car. When I run out, I grab another one. So this is why I like to get $500 worth of quarter. And at the same time, look at them, see if I'm going to get any silver jackpot. Let's see, moment of truth. We're gonna open it up and see the tops. One time I opened it up and they were all 2015 brand new. So this one looks like circulated and we got a whole bunch of different kinds. So what I'm going to do is open them one at a time and if I'm going to get anything, I'll show it to you. I guess I will show you guys the whole one. Hi, I'm going to open it up and look through them. It's very simple. You can always look at the um, some low mintage coins and stuff like that and proofs. But what I'm going to look through is quickly look for silver. It will not have that copper looking edge of that. You can also put it down and through all of them real quick. A lot of people do look through all of them just in case they're going to get some cool dates. No way, I almost missed it. No way, I didn't see that. Out of a first roll, we got 1963 silver quarter. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, I almost missed it. How lucky is that? 1963, 1964 and under, that's what we're looking for. 90% silver, melt value a little bit over $4. Well, I mean three dollars and something, but this is the difference. You see how it does not have that copper look on it. Wow! So this is why some people like to open them up and look too. All of them. Make sure you have some cool dates and stuff like that, or maybe you have some kind of proofs and stuff. I'm looking mostly for proofs and silvers. I'm not looking for errors. Just because I don't really have time. So we got first one silver. Can you believe it? Wow. Okay, will I get lucky back to back? Let's do a second one. And then if I don't get anything, I'll come back if I get something. So, number two. Will I get anything? Now I'm going to look even closer. Half dollars are a lot easier to spot. Quarters are much, much, much smaller. Does not look like I get anything. You know what, I might lay them out all of them. See if I'm gonna get any kind of proofs or anything. And look too quickly. I can't believe I got a silver coin instantly. Okay, that was a roll too. I'll let you know if I'm going to get something in one of the rolls. This is a kind of funny find. Somebody was using it as a target, was shooting it with the BBs or something, and put it back in the circulation. You can find some weird stuff out of the boxes. <clears throat> okay, next. Okay guys, so far after that first one I have gotten nothing. So I'm just gonna do last four with you. See if we're going to get lucky at the end there. So I'm looking for copper piece. I mean non-copper piece. Just solid silver looking quarter. Like this one look alike, but it's not. You want to completely solid silver nothing here again you can look for proofs for the dates i mostly want to look at the silver because i don't have time to look to the each coin sometimes they so dirty it's hard to tell if they silver so i usually double check look at it twice So this is the keeper, looks like I only got one 90% silver, this is 1963, so cool, almost missed it, that was so funny because it was kind of dirty, at the corner I couldn't see it was silver, 
but pretty awesome. Let's open it up. Hopefully, we'll get a lot of silver. Boom. Oh no, that looks like all new coins, all of them. I'm probably not even gonna unbox them because they look like all the same coins. Look at that. That's not good. Looks like this is all 2017. So as you can see, all these coins are new. That's unfortunate because that's not what we want. We want to see some old coins in them. And looks like, and as you can see, they're all new. So there will be no silver coins in there. That's a bummer. I was really excited to make this video. Maybe I'll go to the different bank and get other quarters. You see, all this is the same year. You see how they look like they've been uncirculated? If I take out one of this, they're pretty much the same, very new coins. I want silver, so I'm gonna go get another box and hopefully we'll get lucky. Yep, 2017. But as you can see, look, all this very new uncirculated 2017 coins. So they just came out, st stayed out of the vault. Which is cool coins, brand new, but I don't want those. I want silver. I want the old coins. So I'm not even gonna try to open any more of these quarters because I know there will not be luck in this pack. Oh well, maybe we'll try this again. So in conclusion, this is why a lot of people love to coin roll hunting half dollars because they are a lot bigger, easier to handle it and a lot easier to see if there is a silver coin inside of it. I do not have that much of a luck. Let me know in comments below if you do have more luck. But from a half dollars, five hundred dollar boxes, I definitely had multiple, multiple uh, really good successes from that. Last time I did five hundred dollars on video, I only got two forty percenters. This one is only one. So let me know in comments below. What do you like coin oil hunting for silver better, half dollars or uh, quarters? But I think they are both fun and nice to mix it up. Anyways, let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.